Hello everyone, it's late February 2021. I'm down in the basement today and I want to talk a little bit about starting seeds in a cold basement. Believe it or not, there are some advantages. Um, we're going to go into those. Alright, so we're in the seed room and one of the first things, a uh, little tip, is I use this 6mm um, clear plastic all around the table, all around the two sides. This is, I built this stand in the corner and so there's only two sides that need this plastic. The other two sides are the the walls of the basement. Um, so that's number one. Um, and then I just have these nails. I just sort of pop it off for a quick disconnect. And we're into the seed table. Let's take a look at the temperature. I have a temperature gauge kind of off in the corner away from this heat mat. So it's not on the heat mat. And you can see 52 degrees in here. And so it's six degrees warmer inside this little microclimate than it is outside. It's also a little bit more humid, which is good for the plants. And this is way over here in the corner. Um, it's not on the heat mat, which I have here for things like tomatoes. And we started these a week ago. So I mentioned this in the seed starting video, but the way you can kind of look at this is these tomatoes that were started a week ago today are now one week ahead of where they would be. And these are going to come off this heat mat now. And that gets me into my second uh, point because really they don't need to be on here once they sprout and they'll start to dry up on you a little bit and you know burn the roots and you don't want that. Um, the other thing is I open the top of the dome once they've sprouted. But look at this. One week in, exactly one week in, and we have eggplants all over the place in here. That's exciting. Those are the Satsuma. Uh, so the heat mat really makes a difference. Now what are the advantages of a cold basement? One of them is that these tomatoes, those eggplants, they're not going to grow quickly. And that's good because you don't want them to get leggy. Um, if they grow too fast, they're going to get really tall and really skinny is what we mean by leggy. And the plant's just going to be really weak. Now with a tomato, you could just plant it deep and you can sort of deal with that, but that's not ideal. So when it's colder, the plants are just going to grow a little slower. And again, just like I said in the seed start video, your thought process here is to um, buy time. So in this case, I planted these a week ago. If I planted them outside today, which I'm obviously not going to do because there's three feet of snow outside, um, these would be a week ahead of where they otherwise would be. The sooner you start them, the longer a head start you get. You know, but there's sort of a point of diminishing returns there where if you start them too soon, um, then you have huge plants to deal with that are hard to harden off. And I mentioned that here are some fenugreek greens, some broccoli. Um, some of the stuff is wilting a little because of the heat pad, you know, so we're going to take it off of there. Once it starts to grow, you don't really want it on the heat pad. Um, as I mentioned, with it being in the mid-50s in here, that's totally fine for most things. Um, plus, some of those seeds in the back can come up here and kind of rotate. So that's my job today, rotate this table a little bit. But just a quick um, tip. Growing in a colder basement actually does provide... And, and there are a lot of things like lettuce, onions, etc. that don't need any heat to sprout. Um, obviously, they don't want freezing temperatures. But they're totally happy to grow in 50-degree weather. Um, so if you can keep your table 50 to, between 50 and 60 degrees just by, you know, the lights give off a little heat. Um, you know, if, if you get these lights, you can put your hand there, you can feel it. But also the, the heat pad just being in here um, provides some ambient warmth as well. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please post them below and we'll see you next time.